my I can feel my balls still moving around. <laughs> on the top of my, head. Jingle ball. my jingle balls jingle. are dingle dangling. It's dingle. Hello to all the boys and girls out there. It is Santa Eric and Santa Mom here today. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the holiday festivities on this Christmas Eve. We're going to give you some Christmas Eve entertainment here tonight as we check out our Christmas-themed hip-hop song. I think everybody out there probably could guess what we were going to be checking out when I first brought this up. But it is Christmas and Hollis by Run DMC. This one is from, I think, 1986 or 7. <laughs> uh, you said you have not heard this. No. I am almost positive that I've popped this on or made the Alexa play this at one point. Okay. In uh, Christmas time, but uh, this is gonna be the first time we've actually heard Run DMC. What do you know about Run DMC? You That's more your fact. era. Oh, you're right. That's Beastie Boys. Damn it. You bring that up every, every time you bring <laughs> it up. Already... Every time you bring up that same song. Because I think it. But uh, no, that's Beast. That's Beastie Boys. Oh, so Run, D guys, Run DMC something. is. Um, they did the Walk This Way with Aerosmith. Oh, nice. And they also did, that's, it's tricky to rock a run, run that's right on time, it's tricky. Yeah, I love but, that. But uh, yeah, we heard Rev Run in one of our very first videos yes. on the Jagged Edge song. Yep. We have not heard the rest of Run DMC, so Run DMC is Rev Run, and then there is DMC, and then there's Jam Master J. So it's a three-man okay. group. Um, obviously, they were one of the pioneers <clears> of hip-hop. <throat> they were one of the first ones to start mixing in kind of like the street elements, Obviously, they helped make Adidas super popular. They were known for wearing, like, the Adidas shell toes, three stripes, and, uh, you know, like, the black Adidas track yeah. suits with the white three yeah. stripes, yeah. the Kangol hats, LL Cool J obviously tried to mock that, or not mock that, mimic that, and bite that style at some point. So, uh, yeah, pioneers in the hip-hop game. So we'll be checking out some of their hits in the future, okay. but, uh, again... It's the holiday season, so this one is Christmas in Hollis. Again, I think it was from, like, 86 or 87, and it was on, like, a bunch of holiday albums. I don't know that there was, like, a specific album that this one was on. But, uh, yeah, let me know if you've heard this one before. I think you may have. Let's check it out. Okay. The bank of all the <laughs> there we almost listened to the whole song before pausing but <laughs> uh right. so what do you think about this one so far i think it's cute yeah i never have heard it 
it's super simple obviously like rhyming like people didn't have like the same kind of rhyme schemes that they come would come up with in later years yeah. uh obviously this is supposed to be about christmas so i mean rent mc never really like rapped too much about like street stuff that i recall anyways and it was never they was never doing you know the ends and the bees or yeah. anything like this was before that time yeah so they always kept it like really simple uh run obviously would continue on we heard him on the jagged edge song the reason that you didn't hear uh dmc on that is he ended up having something going on with his throat i think he had like a throat cancer or something along those lines so he like literally physically cannot rap anymore like, he can talk a little bit, but I just, I think something, something's happened that he just, like, can't, he just can't do it. So yeah. that was basically, like, led to the end of Run DMC, along with time and, you know, things changing yeah. and evolving and all that kind of stuff. But, uh, yeah, I almost forgot to pause, so whatever. I'm gonna get nabbed for copyright regardless at some point, so here we go! Yeah, Jim Master Dave. <laughs> all right i don't know why the video keeps going for like another minute ish or so there but uh yeah jam master jay is the dj so you don't ever hear him on anything and he was the one who actually he became kind of um like a mentor for 50 cent in a way and okay. he, unfortunately he became kind of a like an innocent victim of the I want to say, like, the 50 Cent and Ja Rule beef, because he ended up getting shot in what looked like an attempt on wow. 50 Cent, and he passed away. This was years and years ago at this point. But, uh, I don't know, that's actually kind of a downer, but overall, I assume you really enjoyed I did. It was this cute. one. Yeah, I like this one. Like I said, yep. it's obviously... Cute. Once in you know, once a year, I can uh, deal with it. One, one of my favorite parts about this is I've talked before about how I like horns and stuff. And this has that in there, that I don't yeah. know. I don't know why I like that, but yeah. that's always what uh, stands out in my mind. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this one as much as mom did. And if so, make sure you hit that thumbs up and of course subscribe. We've got one more of her fave fives to go before we hit the end of the year. So make sure you come on back for that one. And then uh, we'll be kicking off a whole bunch of new stuff going into uh 2023 my i can feel my balls still moving around <laughs> top of my, head. Jingle ball. my jingle balls jingle, are dingle dangling this dingleberry. my dingleberry <laughs> is uh, all over Mine's the map affixed. here yeah <laughs> and these white things too i already i don't need any more white hair although we've added it today but uh yeah that's neither here nor there so uh, hopefully you guys enjoy your christmas eve here and go the hell to bed so santa claus can come that's so great. uh yeah until the next one have a good holiday and we will yes, see you real merry soon christmas, guys everybody. merry christmas